The other big issue that confronts us is about livelihoods, whether in the informal or the formal sector. We have to ensure that workers' rights are women's rights and that if you cannot ensure workers' rights, then you are going to enslave women and men for that matter. And so, for instance, the Maternity Benefit Act has to be implemented in letter and spirit. For those in the formal sector, it shouldn't be that if they are uh, pregnant and need to take maternity leave of six months, which is a right, they have to go and find a replacement, they have to pay for that um, uh, replacement at work, or that they are eased off from work just because they are engaged in social reproduction at that level. And then for women in the informal sector, hawkers, our domestic worker friends, we have to ensure safety for them. We have to ensure that the sexual harassment complaint cells are operational for them because they face a lot of that kind of harassment at their workplace, which is an informal sector workplace. We have to ensure that social security in terms of health care, in terms of education for their children, in terms of uh, the PDS, a functional PDS for food grains, water, housing need to be in place so that their livelihoods can be something that brings them not just a hand to mouth income, but that helps them to uplift casualization of work in the formal sector, non-payment of minimum wages. We need to be getting living wages. And these are issues, not just of women, but of men. And we have to continue to fight to get these rights.